Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today, we're continuing with completing more side quests throughout Hyrule. This time around, I figured we would get started with, if we go right down here, we have, I think, one where we have to help out Laurel and Village. Yeah, the Laurel and Village Restoration Project. The monsters that took over Laurel and Village left destroyed homes in their wake. The buildings will have to be repaired before the villagers can return home. And that will take lots of logs and Hylian rice. Help her rebuild Orlin Village. So I figured we'd get started with this. I figure, you know, we are getting pretty close to the end of the game. One thing I wanted to focus on before we go and fight Ganon is just getting as close as we can to 100%. So that includes completing all of the side adventures, the shrine quests, getting all the shrines done. So if there's anything specific you wanna see before we go and take on Ganon, be sure to let me know, because I'm trying to think through, you know, make a good list of everything we need to get done before that happens. So for right now, it's definitely side adventures and stuff like that. So for right now, let's see how we can help out uh, Laurel and Village here. Hopefully pretty well. We'll have to wait and see, but I think it's you over here I needed to, to talk to. I'm trying to remember which ones do what right now. Hi. We're gonna start by rebuilding the foundation of each of the buildings monsters destroyed. See, when a building's central pillar is busted, you have to shore up the foundation or it'll all come crushing down. Okay, so as far as logs go, I need 15 more. Think you can handle that? And when I say logs, I don't mean the kind that come from palm trees. I've got plans for those palm trees, okay? So make sure our logs come from other kinds of trees. And while you're at it, could you collect 20 bundles of Hylian rice so we can fix the thatched roofs that got torched? Oh. We're gonna restore the, these charming buildings to their former glory. You and me, baby. <laughs> All right, so I think I had the Hylian rice. Mama. Whoa, you gathered those right quick, didn't you? You move fast, hold up. There's not enough here. I need 20 bundles of Hylian rice total. It might be a little tough to find, but I know you, and you're not the type to give up the first sign of adversity, so keep at it. If there's anything else you want to ask me, just fire away. That's what I'm here for. Charming buildings? Right now, they're shadows of their former selves, but once upon a time, these buildings were bursting with charm. There's the inn, famous for its salt spa and herb treatment that's said to soothe the sore muscles of weary travelers. There's the restaurant, Azure Bay, where visitors enjoy cuisine from all over the world. And there's the Lucky Treasure Shop, known for entrancing travelers with a treasure game that has no losers. There's also the Village, he village Head's house, where I happen to live, and Armez's house, and that's about it. Oh. So look lively, we gotta rebuild this place and quick, it's time to put the charm back in this charming village. Mm. If there's anything else you wanna ask me, just fire away, about the materials. Oh. You know, sometimes Hylian rice will turn up if you cut grass, even around here. But it might be faster if you buy it at my old hometown, Hateno Village. Oh. You can get yourself some logs by cutting down trees. But watch out, you get carried away and cut the logs and, well, then you've got nothing but wood, and that's no good. Mm -hmm. I saw lots of gorgeous trees growing around the hills near the village entrance. Remember, near that place where we were hiding out? I admit, it's a bit of a hike. Sure, would be nice if there was some way to carry the logs more easily. If there's anything else you want to ask me, just fire away. Okay, I think that's it. Oh. If we restore the houses, the villagers who fled are sure to come flocking back. I just know it. We've come too far to turn back now. We're gonna rebuild Laurel and Village with our own four hands. Awesome, so how many logs did we need for this one? I don't know, it's not really telling me right now. So I figured, they say we don't want palm tree logs. We would have to go all the way up there, so probably wanna just travel back to the shrine. But I'll try to cut down some of the trees and bring them over here. That should probably be our first goal. So right up this way, there's a good bundle of trees that I figure we'll get to first. And I would probably just wanna knock them all down. Oh no, and attach them, if possible. Uh, Let's dodge that, please. And then just try to knock you down if I can. I don't know if this is working out too well. Um, Oh, because this is attached with something that's probably not helping it. So if I select destroy fuse material, maybe, there we go. Uh, Gotcha, gotcha. Wait, there we go. Knock you over, there's one log down. So we'll wanna keep that there as there's more of these trees attacking us. Okay, not good. Got that one. I see you over here. Come on, slice you over. Excellent. And then I think this is, yeah, like an actual tree. I have to be careful with these ones to make sure they fall away from me so they don't fall down that one mountain. But once they are all knocked down, all we really have to do is combine them and then run down the hill with them. And that should be enough, I would think. So let's get that there. Uh, Pick this up. Turn it around. 
boom. And we just gotta do this with the rest of them. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Then I can go and pick up all this other stuff. Whoa, there's a vial over there. What is that? Um. Yeah, what is this? This is a monster extract, cool. Glad to have some more of that. I don't see too much else over here, that's just a rock. So I can grab all of these and we can head back to Laurel and Village with these. I don't think this is all of the logs we need, but it's definitely a good start. Oh, over here. Okay, maybe I could just make like a really strong stack of them. And I guess there is a shrine over there. I definitely need to work on finding more shrines soon. So right now, I will knock this one down. And I figure we'll make another like little sort of like bed of logs and then just combine that with what we already have. Uh oh, no you don't. Thank you. Awesome. And then back over here, boom, boom. Master Sword's running low on energy. So we'll just use up all the energy we have here with it. Got it. But then you over here, uh oh. That got you pretty good though. So I will leave it like that. Another high tail lizard there too, which is nice. Attach that, grab all the extra goodies. And we're just doing the same thing that we did over there, just with all these. And if I hear the space, okay, I was gonna say, I don't mind picking up one of those. It's always nice to have, but I don't. Attach that here. Boom, that's quite a lot of logs. I'm pretty sure that's gonna do the trick for whatever he's asking for. Because if we break these again, they turn into wood, not logs. Like they'll turn into like the little bundle of six, which just isn't all we're looking for. So this should be good enough, I would hope. And maybe I might just be able to toss it down there a little bit and like gravity do a lot of the work. I don't know if that's a good idea, but we're gonna try it. Just like that. Whoa, whoa, I didn't realize how far it has to fall. <laughs> that's pretty crazy, but actually, that worked out pretty well. Okay, so I'm just gonna rush this over to you. Some non-bamboo trees, not bamboo, palm trees. Some non-palm tree wood coming up. Just gotta get it over there. We're almost there. I probably have to unattach it all, but I guess we'll see in just a moment. It's just, you're still chilling out just over this way. Is there a chest in the water over there? It looks like it. Okay, so I smell high quality lumber. So let's go ahead and just like detach everything just in case they need that. There we go. Um, got it. Another one over here. Nice. That should be everything you need, right? Oh. Well, well, well. You got right to work gathering locks, I see. May I? Go ahead. Oh. Okie doo. I'll take good care of that. All right, so thanks for getting after those logs. That makes 10 in our collection. Oh. Just five more and we'll have all the logs we need. Okay, so that actually wasn't everything we needed. And while you're at it, could you collect the 20 bundles of Hylian rice so we can fix the thatched roofs that got torched? Oh. We're gonna restore the, these charming buildings to their forming, former glory. Okay, oh. we will soon enough, but let me go ahead and just basically do what I did there um, and just do it again, but with five more trees. Okay, so we have five more here. That should be all that they need. So that'll be great. After we do this, I guess we'll probably take their advice and go to Hateno Village and just get some healing rice that way. So what happens if I just talk to you without detaching them? Oh. Well, 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 you got the right to work. Yep. Oh. Very cool, so I didn't actually have to detach them. That should be the rest of the logs that they need. So that's awesome. Mm. Thanks for getting after those logs. That makes 15 in our collection. We've gathered enough logs to make the repairs. We just need 20 bundles of Hylian rice. Okay, so I'm gonna go work on that now. But I think that's a chest, sort of hard to tell from this angle. Oh, it is, so I can grab this real fast. Just like that, I see another one over there too. So go ahead and just get the little rewards out of these, cause why not? We get Blue Rupee, don't mind if I do. An extra five, nice. Oh, and there's a couple more logs over here just chilling. Should have saw those before. Oh well, uh, let's grab another chest over this way, and then we'll head over to Potato Village. We get another blue rupee, okay. So some easy money there. I don't have a ton of cash right now, so it's definitely useful. Then we gotta get right over here. Let's see if I can't find the shop that sells Hylian rice. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the general store here at the village. We're gonna find out though. Hi there. So. Lots going on. Uh, friend, this is your lucky day. We just started stocking Hateno cheese. The credit for this beauty doesn't belong to only Hateno pasture. It's a labor of love from all of Hateno village. Ooh. We do stock it here and I hope you'll buy from us. But if that don't tickle your fancy, the pasture offers another way. Head up onto the pasture and they'll swap you a hunk of Hateno cheese for a bottle of fresh milk. Between those 
CC brand clothes and the signature staples, this village has been pop, hop, popping. <laughs> that wraps up the sales pitch, I figure. Oh. Sorry for the song and dance, but I got a business to run. Anywho, you were saying, is there something I can do for you? Uh, I think that's it. The veggies out in the field aren't for sale. You'll just have, if you're in the market for produce, come see us. Okay, so over here, Hylian rice. I need, oh. what was it, 20 something? I can only afford, or I can only get five from here. Maybe it was 10 that we needed, I can't remember. But uh, 60 rupees, luckily oh. I can afford that. They'll be in stock soon. The veggies are out in the field, aren't for sale. I know, I know. So we have to go and try to find somewhere else to get the rest of them, which I'm sure we can just find another store. Like, you know, uh, where is it? This should be, well, this is Zora's domain. Or your Kakarika Village. Maybe that one will have another store for us? I would guess so. Okay, so the next place I could find some Hylian rice. Looks like it's back at Lookout Landing. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy another bundle of them. Just whatever they have. It looks like just three of them, unfortunately. So I'm still just at nine Hylian rice. Maybe I could find some just out in the grass somewhere if I just go out and start swinging because sort of tired of looking for the different shops. But you can see there's a lot of grass out here. I think that that's sort of the idea is that we can run out here and swing. And sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes you can find Hylian rice this way. We'll see if it works out. I feel like anywhere would you would find it would have to be Hyrule Field, you know? Which is where we are right now. But so far, not so lucky. There's gotta be something, I mean, I found that, oh, a crick, a cricket's always, you know, not so bad, and the, and the lizards and stuff, because that's an easy way to sort of farm those up. Gotcha. But not so much when it comes to the rice. It also would save me a lot of rupees, but so far just, no dice with that. Huh, yeah, maybe this is faster. Ooh. Okay, still not finding much. Oh, that cleared a bunch of it though. <laughs> We're like a lawnmower. Still not finding anything, darn. Maybe it'd just be faster to go buy it. All right, couldn't find much in terms of that, so I'll try to just bounce between stores and see what else we could find. We're at the village ruins right now, but I've been down this one, right? I mean, it's on the map, so I think that means I, I have been. Okay, I'll jump down just in case, but I'm pretty sure we have. I mean, the way it always pops up, I can never tell. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff in here, so you know what, you know, if you don't mind. There you go. Maybe we could toss one of these real fast too. That gets me the rest of it, no problem. Doesn't look like there's anything too rare in here though. I'm pretty sure we've been in this one. Yeah, it's not changing anything. So we'll hop out of here. I'll try to find one more little piece of uh, holly and rice and get back to them. All right, so I actually needed the 20 Hylian rice. So I just bounced between shops for what felt like forever until I got enough of them. I had to sell some stuff too to make it enough money, but we did what we needed to do. We have the 20 pieces, the 20 bundles of Hylian rice. All right, here's the Hylian rice. All yours. Whoa, just look at you go. I like the hustle. First thing I've got to do is use those logs you collected to shore up the foundations under the buildings. So hold tight for just a bit, okay? I'll do the foundation work and check the state of the buildings while I'm at it. I'll be back before you know it. All right, well, let's hope everything goes well. Whoa. Sounds like he's hard at work. Okie do. Sorry for the wait. Whoa, the foundations are nice and solid. Now it's time to move on to repairing the buildings. What are you gonna need oh. now? There are five buildings that need repairing. Three of them are establishments, the inn, the restaurant, and the lucky treasure shop. And two of them are homes, the, villains, the village head's house and Armis's house. The repair process will depend on the building we're working on, so I'll explain once you decide where we start. Maha. Now we're getting to the real meat of the Great Laurel and Village Revival. So, which building should we get to work in? Um, let's do an establishment. Mm. An establishment it is. Which one should we get to work on? The inn. Oh. We're rebuilding the inn, are we? That's uh down that way. Mm. The inn is over there. It's known far and wide for its salt spa. They used herbs and whatnot to soothe travelers' sore and weary muscles. Mm. Let's move over to the inn so I can do a better job at explaining what we need to do, okay? Okie-do, please follow me. 
And here we are. Oh. Alright, here we are. As you can see, the frame and the central pillar managed to hold up just fine. But if you look inside, you'll see there's a puddle of rainwater. Getting rid of the water won't be difficult, but that junk in there is a hazard and will make it impossible for me to work. Mm. I don't want to damage the framing since we're lucky it's intact, but I'm not sure how to get rid of that debris. It won't be easy, but I think we're gonna have to pull it out piece by piece from above. Once all that junk is gone, I'll start rebuilding the uh, rebuilding work right away. It will look incredible. All right, so Laurel and Village Restoration Project updated. You collected all the required materials and gave them to Bolson. At last, it's time to begin the repair work. Follow Bolson's instructions and help restore Laurel and Village's buildings. Okay. All right, so for this one, sure is coming down. If we're gonna repair the inn, we're gonna have to figure out how to remove the debris in there. Believe it or not, I think we gotta pull each and every piece of junk out from above. Okay, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Once all that junk is gone, I'll start rebuilding. Okay, so I guess I gotta come to the top of it, which is particularly bad timing because it's raining, but um, maybe I could just, I don't think so. Why does it have to be raining right now? <laughs> okay, maybe I can still make my way up. Come on, just a little bit more. You can do it, Link. Ready, set, jump, got it. So everything that's in here, like these different wood pieces and such. I just need to pull out like that. So there's one, here's two. And before we get to the other ones, there's like more debris at the very bottom. I guess I should try to grab those like this. Get those out. That's like a big metal rod actually, whoa. So I'll get that, make sure it's like way on the side. I don't know what's gonna help with, oh no. <laughs> The water being all sort of brought up here. Let me do that and then try to get this out again. Besides this, so it's just the platform that I'm standing on. Should be it, I hope. There we go. Uh, so turn, pick it up, and got it. Okay, that's all out there. Ooh, what's gonna happen now? Well, well, I'm betting someone got rid of all that junk. That someone is you, by the way. <laughs> just leave the rest to me. I'm on it. All right, Boston, do your thing. Boston, da da da, Boston, hoo-ah, hoo-ah. Boston, da da da, Boston, sha-sha, sha-ding. All right. So Boston's just singing and working. Okie doo, all done. Whoa, look at this place. Restored to its former glory. Some of my finest work, if I do say so myself. The owner can move back in any old time. Oh. What? What is going on? I thought the pirates destroyed my place. But here it is, good as new. Oh. You two rebuilt it, didn't you? I was hiding out in the Gruta region in the southwest, but it's just sand as far as the eye can see. I missed the ocean so much. I had to come back, and then I found this. I can't believe my inn is all fixed up. I'm stunned. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry. I really must give you a thank you gift. Well, we get five volt fruit. Not bad. <laughs> I brought this back as a little treat for everyone. Please come on by and enjoy our famous salt spa. No time to waste. The inn is open for business as of today. Awesome. Oh. Hey, hey, this is no time for resting on laurels. There's work to do and it ain't doing itself. Look, look, you and me, we're beasts of construction. We'll have this village put back together in no time. All right, so we'll keep working on the next spa, spot pretty soon, but I figure we'll go and check out the inn. I don't want to mind just sleeping off all this rain. Oh. oh, it's you, the traveler. Good to see you again. <laughs> it's, it's me, remember? We met at the Karakara Bazaar? <laughs> You're a hor horrible foe if you can forget a fabulous woman like me. No. But your saving grace is that you've done so much good around here. You beat those awful pirates and you rebuilt my inn, without which I'd have no way of making a, to make a living. <laughs> and indeed, the whole village benefits from the customers I draw here. Sarkso, from the bottom of my heart. Now then, my special salt spa will soothe your body and soul. Oh. And, at the and, and the bed at, at the inn will cost 20 rupees. But for a weary travel like you, I suggest our salt spa. It uses soothing rock salt. Uh, salt spa? 
You don't know what a salt spa is? You're missing out. In short, I give you a massage using rock salt mixed with laurel and salt water. It'll relax you like nothing else. I ask you to bring your own rock salt, but it's worth it. You'll be amazed how soft it makes your skin feel. Oh. So yeah, let's try it. I'll do the salt spa. Oh. I ask my customers to bring their own rock salt for the spa. I'll need five pieces of rock salt. Is that all right? Here you go. For how long? Until morning. Now relax and leave the rest to me. You've got some knots back here. Soon, you'll feel fresh as a coastal breeze. Whoa, sounds good. Everyone deserves to relax every once in a while, even Link. Oh no, never mind, no relaxing, we got a blood moon. <laughs> Why does that happen every time? <laughs> All right, uh, I would like to skip this, just like that. I'm pressing plus to skip it, and then it ignores my press. What? Uh, there we go. <laughs> Don't know why that took like three times. Okay, so now that we've done that, we've checked out the inn. That was very nice. We get some golden hearts, golden oh. stamina, rise and shine. I meant to rouse you, but you woke up right on schedule. That's a good sign. It means your body got all the rest it needed. Come back to the salt, the salt spa soon. Perfect. Okay, so we're heading right back out here to talk to Balson and continue our stuff. Oh. This is my first big job in a while, and I admit I'm absolutely thrilled to be getting back at it. Now, which building should we work on? There's some magic on. An establishment. Oh. An establishment it is. Which one should we get to work on? The restaurant. Mm. We're building the restaurant, are we? Oh. The restaurant is over there. Azur Bay is known for its incredible cuisine, cuisine you know. They offer dishes from all over the world. Mm. How about we relocate to the restaurant so I can do a better job at explaining what work we need to do? Let's go. Oh, oh, Okey-do, please follow me. All right, so we still have a lot left for the side adventure. These are a lot longer than oh. typical side quests. All right, here we are. Hmm. The central pillar is broken and we have to fix it pronto. After all, it provides vital support to the whole building. I already used the logs you collected to shore up the foundation, so... See that building over there? If we can use a log from a palm tree to support this building the same way, then we'll be sat. See the holes in the roof and the floor? They're perfect fit for a log. All we need to do is put the log through them. Oh. When you pick a palm pick a palm tree log, just make sure it's a straight one. You and me, pal, let's return these places to their former glory. Okay, so as far as I understand, not these? I thought I picked these up. Okay, um, wait, then I'm a little bit confused. What exactly do we pick up? Oh. To rebuild the restaurant, the first thing we need to do is take a log from a palm tree and use it as the central pillar. Okay. So I'll go and knock one of those over. But first I might need to move these crates or break them myself, which I might do just for whatever goodies are inside. We will use this uh, Captain Four Blade. Ooh, just like that. I get some stuff. Ooh, lots of arrows actually, very cool. So if I get over here, switch to our Master Sword and cut this down. Can be a little tricky just because these are very curved, but I think that the hole is set up to sort of work with that. So let's get over this fence. And I can't quite do it that way, I need to pick it up. Which I don't know if I can yet do that too easily from where I'm standing. What is going on, Link? Climb up, there you go. Uh, it's telling me about another shrine that's nearby. I definitely wanna find that after we're done with this quest. There we go. So now that we're up here, it shouldn't be too bad to just go up here a little bit. Bring it in a little bit more. Oh wait, a little bit out. Oh, come on. There we go. And then we need to sort of twist and turn it a bit. Maybe like this. It's hard to find that sweet spot, but it's there somewhere. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, I think that one's just too curved. I feel like it was close enough that I almost got it, but I'm just gonna go and choose another one. This one looks a whole lot straighter, so it might work out a little bit better. I just need to get it over there to start with. Climb up here. Whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> we like spun around it. Come on, Link. Got it. This one should work out a whole lot better. Straight it out like that. I just hope that it can actually fit through this part. 
If not, I'm gonna be very upset. There we go. Did we do it? Okay, there we go, sorry. Ooh, it's perfect. I couldn't have found a better pillar to hold this place up myself. Just leave the rest to me. I'm on it. All right, well, I guess that's all we had to do for this one. Once I figured it out, it wasn't too complicated. <laughs> Bolson, da da da, Bolson, hoo hoo Bolson, da da da, Bolson, sha sha, sha ding. <laughs> Okie do, all done. Get a load of my handiwork. Talk about a perfect restoration job. The old building skills are still as sharp as nails, baby. Now all we have to do is wait for the owner to return and... Hey, am I dreaming? Wow, but it was all broken before. Look, Suta, our house, it's all better too. I just came to check on my restaurant and my house. I was so worried about them. Was was it you? Did you fix them? Thank you so much, please. I want you to have this. Whoa, tough seafood fried rice. Grants a low level defense boost. Various seafood has been sauteed with rice. The stronger the flame, the tastier the dish. Hi. Of all the dishes we serve at our restaurant, this is the one I'm the most proud of. Please stop by anytime you're hungry. I'll treat you to meals the likes of which you've never see, tasted before. As of now, Azur Bay is, is open for business. I'm glad. So we're helping out all these different businesses a little bit more. Oh. Hey, hey, this is no time for resting on laurels. There's work to do and it ain't doing itself. Look, you and me, we're beasts of construction. We'll have this village put back together in no time. Okay, so we'll keep moving on with that in just a moment. But I figure we'll say hello to you guys and see what kind of food you offer. I mean, I think this might be the home part, actually. Okay, so not that. Uh, are you okay? You seem a little stuck. Oh, it's you. Thanks for coming. How about a meal at my wife's restaurant? Sure. Hungry, huh? I'll be with you soon. Now, what to put on the menu today? Do I just go up to you for food? I don't really know how this works. So maybe, uh, maybe not. <sighs> my poor shirt, what should I do? I'll try to distract myself by reading the paper. Let's see, the latest article is Laurel and Village on the Mend. Huh, after a golden haired hero did away with the pirates, rebuilding began with the architect Mr. Bolson leading the way. That's us, they're talking about our village. I can't believe I met someone important enough to be on the, in the news. I'm glad our house was rebuilt, but the village as a whole has a ways to go. Cloyne's lucky treasure shop is still closed up for repairs. Quite the attraction that was. For locals and out-of-towners alike, Cloyn always went out of his way to give great prizes. I hope it gets fixed soon. Maybe that's what we'll work on next. Ah. Welcome to Azure Bay, the village's premier and only restaurant. Hey, it's you. You know, when we met at the Skyview Tower, I knew you were different from the other travelers. I owe you and Bolson a lot for rebuilding our house and fixing up my restaurant. So please, enjoy the special menu I whipped up. Care to try our special today? Just 46 rupees, sure. So we got a new seafood pa paella. No fisherman's birthday bash would be complete without this top shelf seafood dish. <laughs> okay, enjoy. I'm always putting unique dishes on my menu, so do come again. Okay, cool, we'll definitely have to do that so we can learn different recipes, but sure is coming today, it's raining again. This is my first day, big job in a while, so yeah, we, we know about all this. Let's work on an establishment. This time the lucky treasure shop is the only one that still needs fixing. And that is way over there. The Lucky Treasure Shop is over there. It's a charming spot that beguiles travelers with a treasure game that rumor has it, no one ever loses. Ooh. How about we head to the Lucky Treasure Shop so I can explain what we need to do to fix that baby up? Let's go. Okie do, please follow me. That's right, so our third and final one of the stores, the establishments that we have oh. to fix. All right, here we are. A palm tree grew through the roof upon, uh, up on the second story. It was a bit of a landmark actually, but well, the damage is worse than I thought. I rebuilt the foundation using the logs you collected for me. But this building is so big that rather than connecting the roof and the floor, the palm tree log should go in the plant pot and on the second floor and then up through the hole in the roof. Oh. When it comes to selecting a good palm tree log, make sure you get yourself a straight one, okay? You and me, let's return these places to their former glory. 
Okay, so let's actually make sure we get a nice straight palm tree this time. This one's looking pretty good. I like the look of it, so I will work on this one and get it up here. Just like that. And then hopefully I can get up here, no problem. So where exactly does this go? It looks like just up this way for now. So I'll do that. I will climb up here. And then we will ascend from this side. Just so I don't have to climb up in the rain. Because we're supposed to get it through this plant pot, right? Or into the plant pot. Yeah, okay. I can't quite get it that high though. Okay, put it back down. Just like this. So that I can climb up here. And that should give me a better opportunity with some stuff. There we go. And then try to put it right down that way. Is that good? Ooh, it's perfect. I couldn't have found a better pillar to hold this place up myself. Just leave the rest to me. I'm on it. All right, well, there we go, our third establishment. Bolson da 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 Bolson, hua hua. Bolson da 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 Bolson, sha 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 ding. Bolson's such a hard worker. Okie do, all done. Yes, it's perfecto. It's the biggest building in this village, so returning it to its former glory wasn't easy, but the owner is gonna love it. Whoa, 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 what exactly is going on here? I was sure the monsters had done my shop in. I heard the pirates were, gonna, were gone and came running. I can't believe I can open my shop again. I never thought this day would come. This place means everything to me. My old man, rest his soul, left it to me. Here, please, I have to thank you. Take this. Bomb flowers, nice, I always take this. I picked several of them while I was hiding out. I was planning to throw them at the pirates, but there's no need for that now. Because of you, the lucky treasure shop is back in business. In fact, you don't even need rupees. You can be broken, still come on in and try your luck. Doors are open, starting now. All right. Hey, hey, this is no time for resting on our laurels. There's work to do and it ain't doing itself. Okay, so yeah, we'll work on the houses soon enough, but let's go and check out our brand new building here. So fancy, nasty weather. Well, look who it is, the kid who sent the pirates packing. The kid who rebuilt the whole village, including this humble establishment. When we met at the stable, I took you for the fragile type. Glad you proved me wrong. But enough sappy stuff, this is the lucky treasure shop, where I run what you'd call a game of luck. See those treasure chests? Pick any one of them and open it. Don't be shy, crack one open. I'll go for the one in the middle. And what do we got? A blue rupee. Hey, nice. Thank you. Ah. Come here, kid. Let's see it. Blue, huh? So that means rats. You get the middle prize. That's the big one. I hate to see it go. Ooh. You must be pretty happy scoring that prize for free. If you'd like it to be delivered at your place of residence, too bad, I don't do that. Hmm. Oop. Also, I'll take that ruby back. It's not for you to keep. <laughs> so that's the game. Pick a chest and win a prize, all upside. There is one catch. I have to cap how much you play, or I'd go bankrupt. Wouldn't want to shut me down right after you put me back in business, would you? Don't, didn't think so. Come back later if you want another round. So what did we get? What, oh wow, it's a Lionel piece. Hold on, let's take a picture of this. It's the blue maned libel, Lionel Sable, Sable, Saber Horn. <laughs> it's so hard for me to pronounce. Lionel Saber Horn, got it. Okay, so let's definitely pick this up. Blue maned Lionel Saber Horn, the sharp blade like horn of a blue maned Lionel. Attach it to a weapon to moderately increase its attack power, cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Awesome. Now that, do I have a picture of this? Yeah, that's a black horn, blue horn. So we got the really good one straight away, very lucky. Where do you think you're going? Village savior or not, you gotta follow the rules like everyone else. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so, doesn't look like there's much more to do around here. I could go up, right? Uh, maybe not, that's okay. Very cool that we get to try that, we got the best prize. We fixed up all the establishments. Now, time to move on to the houses. Which one are you thinking? Let's do the village head house. Ooh, we're rebuilding the house for the head of the village, are we? 
The house is there. That there is where the village head and his family live. They've been letting me stay with them too. Ugh, it was so cozy. They even had a little something from Princess Zelda on display. Then along came this awful monsters. Mm. How about we head over there so I can explain what we need to do to fix the place up? Let's go. <laughs> Okie do, please follow me. Oh. All right, here we are. Hmm. The central pillar is broken, so we have to repair it pronto. I already shored up the building's foundation using the logs you collected for me. So if we can place a log from a palm tree through the holes of the roof and floor like I mentioned, that should do it. Oh. When you pick up a palm tree log, just make sure it's a straight one. You and me, pal. Let's return these places to their former glory. So first things first is we need to pick up this. Like that, and then just drop it. Sorry, watch out. <laughs> I thought that would break it. It would not, okay. No, come on. Or not. I just want to break this box and get an arrow out of it. Oh, actually, a few arrows. So once again, we need a straight palm tree. Looking like this is a good bet. All right, grab this. I'm going to have to put it up here for now. Oh, it almost stayed up there. That would've been cool. But I just pick it up again, bring it over here, just like that, and then strain it out and put it in there as soon as we can. Come on. Got it. Cool. Ooh, it's perfect. I couldn't have found a better pillar to hold this place up myself. Just leave the rest to me. I'm on it. <laughs> Bolson, da da da, Bolson. Hua, hua. Bolson, da da da, Bolson, Bolson, sha sha, sha ding. <laughs> All right, okay, do all done. Another thing all fixed done, I'm glad. Whoa, looking good, it's all done. From here on out, I'll have a comfy place to sleep at night. Ooh, I thought I heard the sound of hammering coming from the house. It's exactly how it was before. Luckily, the house main, house's main building went undamaged, but the detached hut where Bolson is staying was destroyed. I was so worried about finding a place for him to sleep, but not anymore. Sorry you had to go to all the trouble of fixing up our house. Here, I'd love to give you something for the repairs. Three armored porgy. Uh -huh. It's the tastiest fish you can catch around here. Grill it, stew it, whatever you like. It's always delicious. There was a picture from Princess Zelda on display in the detached hut. Quick, let's make sure it's not damaged. Oh. Hey, hey, this is no time for resting on laurels. Okay, we know, we know. So I'll go to you in a little bit. Is it still here? Whoa, wait a minute. That's the picture of the heart one. That's somewhere around here. Uh, Don't remember exactly where though. But there's like a little heart lake somewhere near here, not too far off. Let's talk to you about it. No matter how much debris I dug through, I couldn't find the precious painting. Honestly, I just, I lost hope it would ever be recovered. But Bolson told me that thanks to you it was, it was, and in perfect condition. Moving rubble, building houses, is there anything you can't do? You know, I'm said to be the head of this village one day. And when that happens, I can only hope I'm as good at solving problems as you. So I'm not ex exactly sure specifically where that is, but I've definitely seen it on the map before. I think we've already been there once this game, but uh, we've definitely been there in Breath of the Wild. Okay, we have one more to go. Armez's house is the only one that still needs fixing. And that is way down there. Oh. Armez's house is there. I recall Armez said he wanted a spot outside to display his biggest catches. Mm. Why don't we relocate to Armez's house for a bit? It'll be easier for me to explain what we need to do. Let's go. Oh. Okay, do oh. please follow me. So this is the last one. Looking forward to getting it done. Oh. All right, here we are. Hmm. The central pillar is broken, so we have to repair it pronto. I already shored up the building's foundation using the logs you collected for me. So if we can place a log from a palm tree through the holes in the roof and floor, like I mentioned, that should do it. Oh. Let me pick up a palm tree log, just make sure it's a straight one. All right, we know, we know. So this one, it's sort of straight. Hopefully it's straight enough, but also I see this ore. Have we got a picture of the ore? We haven't. So let me get up here and actually get a good picture of it. Bodor, cool. That's another one for our compendium. 
glad to see it. Then I can also pick it up. Made for paddling boats, but it was made sturdy enough to fight strong currents. Maybe it's useful for self-defense in a pinch. Neat. All right, I'll, I'll break this box real quick, just for an extra arrow, and then I want to also break this tree. No, I don't need a picture of the tree. Uh, I need to pick it up though, just like this. And then just get it over here. Once we do that, I can climb up this side, and then get it, bring it over here, turn it over, bring it a little bit closer, come on. There we go. Got it. Ooh, it's perfect. I couldn't have found a better pillar to hold this place up myself. Just leave the rest to me. I'm on it. Okay, so for the last time, Bolson's building. Let's see how it goes. Bolson, da da da, Bolson, hua hua. We know, we know, we know the song by now. All right, we're all done. So what happens now? We get this building made, somebody's gonna come over, ha ha ha. Behold, what you see before you is the work of a true craftsman. Oh, oh, my house is fixed? You really fixed it? Thank you. I can finally get back to making a living. I'm really sorry I wasn't any help. Please take this as a kind of apology. 50 rupees, that's the best one so far. Now I could go fishing again. You know, I don't need very many fish to feed myself, so I shared the extras I catch with other folks. Whoa, I usually save them for the people here in the village, but I really owe you for fixing my house. If I have extras to share, I'll put them in front of my house. Please, take whatever you need. Bolson, is it true? Oh. You bet it is. Every last building in the village is as good as new. <laughs> Incredible! How can I ever thank you? And to think you restored the village so quickly. A feast is most certainly in order tonight. Whoa. Did you hear that? A feast! He said a feast is in order. Oh dear, you think I should change my outfit? I think you look great. Aw, this is peaceful. The day the pirates attacked and overran the village, I was desperate to get everyone to safety. Before I knew it, my beloved home was gone. After everyone fled, the only sound coming from Orland Village was the sound of monsters. I never thought, never dared dream. I lived to see the day we could all laugh together again like this. This moment right now, it's all thanks to you. Of course, I'm extremely grateful to Boston as well. Oh. No, no, there's no need to thank me. After all, when I first drifted into this village, you all welcomed me with open arms, didn't you? The work I did here, it's oh. just my way of, I didn't even press anything. Bolson, thank you. This village owes you a debt. In fact, I think it's safe to say that you are this village's savior. Now, I talked about this with the rest of the folks around here, and we did not have enough money or treasure to repay you for saving our home. But the treasure we do have? Well, it's this village and everyone in it. So from now on, we'll do everything we can to share our hospitality with you. Uh-huh. For the village savior, I'll provide a bed for free anytime. Uh. You are also welcome to eat at the restaurant as much as you like, free of charge, of course. The village's savior may not need to test his luck, but I'm sure it'd be fun to play a treasure chest game once in a while. Oh. Please, feel free to take anything you find in the village. Uh -huh. Ooh, I'm all washed with emotions. I, I can't hold back anymore. Oh, yeah. Zuta, can of! Uh -huh. Look lively, it's time for the... Oh. Mm -hmm. Laurel and Revival, da da dance! The what? <laughs> what a wonderful dance. That's great. So it looks like a very happy ending for Laurel and Village. 
That was great, I really enjoyed that. So now we get free food and, and bed whenever we want here in Laurelin. All right, Laurelin Village Restoration Project complete. The buildings destroyed by the monsters have been all repaired and the Laurel and Village Reconstruction Project is complete. The villagers are so grateful for everything you did. They vowed to give you free access to all of the village's facilities and goods from here on out. I'm glad. I definitely wanna at least check out the restaurant a little bit more, because if it could give me some new recipes and stuff, that'd be amazing. So I'll try to hop up here. Link always makes a big deal about it whenever I try to hop up anything lately. There we go. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> really? I just wanna get up there. The whole point of the game is that you can climb things and make it easier to traverse, and no, I just, all right. <laughs> get over here, let's get some food. Where should I kick oh. next? Sorry, I'm sold out for the day. I need to sort out a new menu, so please give me some time. What if I sleep until morning? I'll do that, if that doesn't work, then we'll leave it be for now. But yeah, I've had a ton of fun exploring Laurel and Village. It's turned out pretty well. And then I know that the one fisherman, the, the last house we fixed here, apparently had some stuff up. Oh. Yeah, okay, sold out for the day even though we just started the day. We'll head over here and check that out. Okay. See, right over in this direction. Looks like you're resting here. I don't wanna take all your food, but uh, I gotta thank you. Laurel is looking as good as, it, as I've ever seen it. You'd never know monsters tore the place apart. But as a humble fisherman, I'm afraid the only rewards I can offer are, the, are, the, are of the slippery, scaly variety. Oh. Oh wait, have you been to the Lucky Treasure Shop? The owner has a rule that after you play once, you can't come back for a while. But he's got a soft spot for a roasted porgy. If you give him some, he'll let you play the game again. That's a secret, but as our town savior, I think you're in the right to hear it. Okay, well, this is some roasted porgy. The soft and fluffy texture of this seafaring fish has been enhanced by roasting it over an open fire. The crisp, aromatic skin is particularly de delicious. Very cool, so probably wanna take a picture of it. Wait, that was the harpoon? The fishing harpoon, cool. But what about the, the porgy? Can I not, I guess I can't. Can I take the harpoon? I mean, I could, but I don't really need to. Okay, gotcha. What about this stuff? I probably have pictures of it, but yep. Let's open up this chest and see what's inside. Very curious about that. We'll get a red rupee. Awesome, we're getting tons of rewards all over the place then. I'm really happy about it. But there's not anything in here. At this point, the only thing I really wanna do for the rest of today then is going to be getting at least one more shrine. Every time we go out here, it seems like there's one to the left, so that's what I wanna look for for now is wherever this shrine could be. It goes a little crazy when I head in this direction, so I'm guessing there might be a cave or something somewhere that leads straight to a HS, so that's what I'll try to get to for now. I'll get a boat or I don't need that. There we go, got five more arrows from that one. That's very useful. I'm up to 100 arrows exactly now. See, it seems like it's this way. I'm not seeing any kind of cave entrance though, so it might not be directly from here. I'll just have to look around as much as I can, because you really never know where they might be. But if there's no cave entrance here, maybe behind this waterfall. If not, I'll go back to our one shrine and look around for it from there. I'm not seeing too much over here. You're not gonna be behind it. You know what I could do though, real fast, is I could switch to the Zora gear and then swim up it. That makes quick work of traveling. At least at this spot. <laughs> I don't really see too much more up here, but there's gotta be some stuff somewhere, right? Hmm. All right, I'll go back to the shrine. We'll see if we can't find it from there. Okay, I've made my way all the way to the top here. There's a bunch of monsters off the clear, steer clear of, but somewhere around here, over this way, I really feel like it might be under us somehow, but I'll just, yeah, nearby down below. Do you see that? It said that for just a moment. So what I really have to do then is just fly around as much as possible and try to find some kind of cave entrance. And that's where things can get a little bit difficult when it comes to finding things in this game. Is that there's just sort of a lot of spots for there to be a cave entrance. I haven't seen any and guess what? It's raining again. <laughs> oh, I do see a croc seed spot over here. So maybe I'll get that and then maybe just over there would be the entrance we're looking for. So. Maybe I'll try that. Oh, gotta hop down. Like this, quickly. No, I missed it, I missed, no, come on. Okay, come on. I got it that time, awesome. So there we go. 
Get another Korok Seed. I need to start stacking those up a little bit more because I'd like to, you know, get that as maxed out as possible. But with that done, I probably just want to get back up here and look around for a cave a bit more. There's got to be the shrine somewhere. It's pretty important that I start doing these because I want to get all the shrines, of course, in the game. And this one would sort of count when it comes to getting all of them. But these guys over here usually show up near a cave, right? It's usually typical. So what if I just, boom, get you like that. Probably want to use a different bow than whatever I have equipped. Yeah, the Gruta bow is very zoomed in, it seems. Uh, hold on. I got you again. Nice. <laughs> All right, getting a couple of rupees out of those shots is at least something. Yeah, they run towards the cave, I think. So way over there, I already see the entrance. It's under the water and everything over here. So perfect that we got the Zora gear equipped. I will try to, actually, maybe I should, just for the sake of it, we can auto build. Do I have anything? Okay, I don't need those, but. Get the bolt boat, perfect. Put that there, get the building. I guess I don't really need the bolt part of the bolt boat, but if it works, I'm happy. I, that's if it works. Control, go. All right, off we go. Electrifying the water. Whoa, all those keys. Didn't get to let, oh, there wasn't even much here. I thought it'd be like a whole underwater section. I'm being silly. Discovery, what did we find? The Mount Dunsel Cave in East Nekluda. Very cool. Okay, do we have, oh yeah, we do, we do. The ruby sword, so that I can, uh, I thought I could get rid of that, I guess not. Can I just slice through it? I can. Whoa, hey, silver, horrible one. Don't see those every day. Wow, got the old one bow here. Didn't realize how many cool details it had. Um, I might just wanna fight you with normal weapons here. So something like this, and then just, whoa. Okay, was able to dodge that pretty well. We'll try to get our friends to help a little bit too. Like this, ready? Uh, boom. So you don't have much room to move if we just keep slicing and dicing you. Got it. Ooh, keep it moving. Nice. Somebody knocked you out there pretty well. Very cool. We'll pick up everything we can from that. The silver orblin horn is a really nice one. Then head back over here where we have plenty of places to go. This one leads to a couple of things. We got the giant bright plume seed. Not too much under here. I just wanted to make sure it didn't like, sort of go downward even more. Now these guys uh, aren't so fun to deal with. But if we could just hide out for a second and then go for your tongue, like that, excellent. I should be able to slice you down. And then I see your friend over here. Ah, oh, I couldn't quite get them before they put their tongue away. All right, we'll wait it out. We'll get a couple more items here. The Phrenic Bow, whoa. We don't run into this too often. I think I'll drop one of these. Just to make sure I have a photo of this, a bow passed down uh, through the Sheikah tribe. Concentrating before drawing the string will allow you to target distant enemies as easily as those nearby. I don't think we've gone that in this game, but I can't be 100% certain, so. Ow, not what I wanted. Do that, and then slice you down a little bit, just like that. So let's see what kind of cool reward we get from this like like. Another chest, which has eight full blade, which we've definitely seen before. Don't think I need it right now, but I will, yeah. Let's just drop these two to make extra sure I have pictures of them. Old one bow, frantic bow, I do, okay, perfect. Okay, so I will just grab whatever else we can find around here, but yeah, there should be a couple of goodies, different rocks and stuff to pick up. Um, hmm. Could try this Igneo Talus hammer. This one's crazy. There we go. Maybe I should not use that. I don't know. But, uh, which way exactly are we supposed to go? Because it looks like there's a little path down here. Guess I'll try that one for now. Because you never know where you might find you. Exactly what I was looking for. Let me switch to this old one by then. And get you like that. Nice. All right, drop that, that rupee for me if you don't mind. I guess I gotta hit you one more time. There we go. So I'll grab this, the bubble gem. 18 of them in total. So hopefully soon we can get some more rewards. But let's go way back over here. And it looks like there might be more stuff up there, not really. This direction though, might have some more. That's where we came in, right? No, it's not. We came in from that way. So let's continue. I'll grab a bomb flower. 
And ooh, definitely the truffles. Those are always really nice to grab. This area is really big. Hmm. I could try to climb up this, but with how wet it is in here, might be a bit difficult. So let's start from down here first. Grab another bomb flower. I see you over here, just get you out of here. There you go. No problem. And I guess we're supposed to go down there. This cave just keeps going and going, but there's clearly more over this way. If I were to grab this and put it over there, I can stand on it and then just elevate myself upwards. That might be the best idea. All right, get on top, Link, if you don't mind, please. There you go. No, 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 come on. <laughs> You're being so silly right now. Oh my gosh, is this actually like, not possible? Because it just sort of falls over. It needs to be evened out a bit more, but it just seems to want to sit on its side, so maybe it doesn't work. Come on, ah, oh, that stinks. Okay, maybe I can just do it from here. All I want to do is get out there without it being a headache because of how wet the walls are. But the game's like, no, I can't I can't give you a break right now. <laughs> really? All right, we'll try to climb up some other way. I don't know if there's even anything up there is the thing. Ooh, this is the worst. Do I have the frog outfit, right? I think I do, that helps it climb a little bit better. Uh, I have the froggy sleep. I need to find more of this for sure. Oh, this is the worst. Come on, let's let me up there. Okay, this should get me up there, I hope. If not, I might just move on. I just wanna see what's up there. Just make sure the shrine isn't waiting for me. All right, this gets me a whole lot closer at least. Come on, come on, Link. I just gotta climb. Don't jump, just climb. Don't jump, just come. There's a lot of stuff up here actually. So it was worth all the trouble. It just was a ridiculous amount of trouble. So there's a chest up here, there's another path to go down, all sorts of stuff actually. So open up the chest first. Cool. We get a royal shield, 55 durability up. Is that really even worth picking up at the moment? Actually it isn't. So I'll leave that. And we'll head over here where there should be yeah, these guys. Let me go ahead and deal with them. With a bomb flower, sure why not? Boom, that busts them open a little bit, right? There you go. And there is the shrine up here, I knew it. All right, ready? Stick that tongue out or do whatever you're gonna do. Uh, dodge it. One more. And, gotcha. All right, boom, boom. Let's switch to an, a sword that'll actually do good damage at the moment. And definitely open up this treasure chest. Oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> open up the treasure chest, just like this. And we get the emblazoned shield. This shield features a traditional design from Nekluda. Its combat capabilities aren't much uh, better than the standard wooden shield, but it's found popularity for its design. I think we've gotten this one before, but let me make extra sure we got this one specifically. Yep, we have, okay, cool. Cause there's a couple of them with different designs. Okay, you were getting busy over here. You gonna stick out your tongue or? Oh, that is your tongue. Oh, that didn't work. Come on, ah, oh, I need to throw the bomb flower then. All right, ready, boom, gotcha. All right, now I'm gonna spit out a few more rocks, I know ya. Oh, no you don't, cool. Boom, I just get that then. And we're done. Very cool. I feel like we get a lot of more uncommon items from these uh, like-like chests, which is always pretty cool. Shield of the Mind's Eye is uncommon, but I've gotten it before. I don't need it now. Okay, running back over here, I do see this golden rock. I definitely wanna bust that open, so just use whatever I can use. If that's this thing, so be it. Again. Ooh, two rubies? That's amazing. So let's go and finally get to our shrine over here, the Bamatok Shrine in East Nekluda. Let's open it up and get it done. All right, we make our way through, and this is actually just a Raru's Blessing. Was not expecting that for this one, but I guess it was a lot of work to get here, so very cool. Inside of this, we just get a big battery. Glad to see it, and we'll get our little shrine reward. So yeah, nothing too involved with this one. We're able to grab a reward and get out. Okay, so now that we finished that up, I don't know if there's too much more left to do in this cave, but there were definitely a few more paths we've yet to go, so I wanna check that out. I'll get this rock saw over here, and then fly back down. We can get uh, Tulin to push us forward at least a little bit, but most of it's just flying back down myself like this, because I know that we came in from that way over there, but there was like some kind of water path over here, right? Or at least just some kind of path, yeah. Get a little bit lower, and then, have someone push me. What is the deal with everything here? Well, wait a minute. This seems pretty complicated. Over here, you can see. Hmm. I see that chest over that way. Would Tulin mind pushing me? 
over here. Does that work with this? No, it doesn't, darn. Um, hmm. I'll just go get a fan out really quickly. Uh, let's see. Device, and then we'll get the fan out right over here. That should help. I didn't need that many. Uh, uh oh. Okay, I can't take out the, the other thing. That's fine. This should be good enough. Or if I just attach this here. I just want to do it. Yeah, I should have thought that one through, I guess. You know what, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I don't need the chest that bad. Whatever's in there, it's probably not a must have. I'll just get on here. And then I want to switch to our, where is it? Our salvage line I'll bow. And then attach some bomb flowers and bust our way through there. What's on the other side? That's what I'm very curious about, but we're about to find out. It looks like there's some golden stuff over there. Let's get over and find out. Got over it. Ooh, okay. Not bad. So I will break this one open, get some amber and sapphire, and then same thing here. Got another sapphire. Rock salt and amber. Last one. Flint. Okay, so I don't think we want to backtrack through this cave, but there was another path from the entrance that must have had something, right? So if I can, where are we? Uh, we're just in a different cave now. Um, okay, let's go back to this. Gotcha. And then switch weapons, please. Over to my uh, silver Lionel Lysel Reaper. Yeah, we're like in a different cave now. I'm a little confused on where we are, but uh, if I can knock, you down really fast and just swing at you. I would be really happy about it. I know this thing is badly damaged. There you go. Uh, I'm gonna switch to the silver Boca Blade. Come on. Doing some decent damage to you there. This is a heavier sword actually, so I gotta be careful, but if I just start spinning on you, that should make a difference pretty well. Awesome. So what do you drop? Bunch of cool things. But it was that fancy spear that I really wanted. Yeah, the Rusty Claymore Halberd. Should work out pretty well for us. Oh, oh, we were just, okay, so there is more to this cave, even more. It just continues up here. I'm so confused. I was not expecting it to continue onward. I thought we would just reach the surface, but no, I guess there was an opening way up top too, huh? Interesting. Whoa, okay. Wait, uh, what, this looks very, very sort of open. Like there's going to be a, uh, a Lionel, but I don't see one. Okay, so yeah, now I get it. We sort of found the entrance and the exit of this cave. What is the, oh, hi, hi, uh, okay. We're climbing up, yeah. Where's your weak spot? It's over there. Okay, um, you know what? I should back up a little bit, actually. Um, there we go. And then go for this. It's just a normal stone talus, so we should be able to do this pretty easily. One more time, maybe? There you go. That was, whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody else is hitting me too, so if I could just get up there now, maybe. You don't even give me much of a chance there, do you? Uh, I could try this? Oh, wow. It's actually one of the fancy ones. Let me make sure I do have a picture of you then. I mean, I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, Stone Talus Luminous, we have it. Ah, be careful. Ready, jump, slam, gotcha, good. We're gonna do that again. Jump, slam, no, come on. No, 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 Link, I just wanted you to jump and swim, or to swing. That is tough to hit for some reason. Come on, are you serious? Get out of here, boom. So close to knocking you out, let's do one more hit. Uh, One more for real, got it. That was tough. But we got everything, some luminous stones, and, oh, look at this, beautiful. So we could probably make the most out of this thing. Haven't seen one in a while, I don't think. But uh, we take a look at our weapons. I probably wanna combine it with the Knight's Halberd. Or maybe what I should do, get this Rusty Claymore Halberd right here and destroy Fuse Material because this would be way better. So I just go like uh, this, use it. Gives a 28 or 21 extra damage. That was pretty good. So that was all cool. I wouldn't mind going back to the entry of the cave just because it looked at those a little bit more, but I guess whatever it is isn't entirely necessary. It's probably just a couple of extra goodies or something. So 
I guess we'll leave it for now. I feel like we did pretty good today exploring Laurel and Village, getting a bunch done, and uh, completing a shrine. It was a pretty involved one too, so I think overall we did a great job today. There's plenty more side adventures and things to explore like this throughout the game that we need to do before we defeat Ganondorf. So that's where I would love to hear your feedback. If there's anything specific you want me to do sooner rather than later, feel free to let me know. But I think some of the couple of things I wanna focus on in the upcoming episodes are more side adventures and side quests, uh, just going for a shrine whenever I find one. Um, I think that I definitely wanna go back into the depths and explore around here. There's a lot of different depth areas we just have not found. So I might just dedicate a whole episode to like, you know, going to this area and getting every single one of the light routes we can in this specific depths area or this one, you know, those kind of things I definitely wanna focus on. They'll take a while, but I think they're worth doing is getting the map fully cleared out. And then of course, finding all the gear pieces. There's a lot left to do in the game. So hopefully we can keep working on it in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.